the muscles of, between the shoulder blades can generate pain. The way to handle all muscle pain is you have to work that muscle. Uh, and there's a, a great way that you can do uh, some at-home work with a lacrosse ball and a foam roller. And why, why not a tennis ball? Lacrosse ball is a little, little harder. It's got, it's got a nice, it's got a little bounce to it, but it's harder, and it'll actually stick to a wall. So let me show you first how to use the lacrosse ball. In his case, I suggested using the lacrosse ball on his chest and on his back. Uh, and, and what you'll do is you'll find the tender areas in there. And you'll get right up on, you'll do both sides, but you get up on the wall and you'll place it on the, on the pec muscle. And as you start rolling around, you'll find the tender areas. When you find a tender area, you lean in slightly and roll. And you can roll here on the outside of the shoulder. You'd be surprised, you might find some tender spots here. They may even refer pain, because muscles can refer pain to other areas of the body. That's called a trigger point, or it's a muscle spasm that sends pain out to other areas. So you could have a little, literally a trigger point here referring pain to your shoulder, uh, a trigger point in the back here that refers out or around. So now here I am, I'm rolling the outside of the scapula. We're kind of on the rotator cuff area, the infraspinatus muscle here. You'll find some tender spots in there. You can roll the posterior deltoid, and you just find those little spots, and you just work on them. Maybe five five minutes at a session here. We'll go on, to, go on there, and then you go right in between the shoulder blades, and you can work there. And those are really, it's like where, this, where you feel the spine and the shoulder blade. Like Haley was to roll with a foam roller. Now, this is a foam roller. It's fairly solid. It's, it's not squishy like a pillow. It's solid, so you want to roll the muscles on it. Again, we're trying to find those tender spots and work them. And with, with a pain in the upper back, we, it's real, for a real basic, you just want to roll along the spine. And then you can go to one side, roll up onto the shoulder, You'll find those tender spots, other side, and doing that, as we relax the tension out of those muscles, the pain will decrease uh, so, because these muscles, these tight spastic muscles aren't generating pain all the time. That was my advice from Mark. Hope you do it, Mark, and uh, good luck with the foam rolling. Go get your lacrosse ball and get to work. Uh, that's Dr. Owens with a simple solution. Good morning, Dr. Owens. Chiropractic ability. We're here at my office. Hope you're having a great day as well. I wanted to show you a, a quick exercise today to do at your desk to help neck pain. And uh, before we show you the exercise, I want to make sure that you understand don't push into pain on this. Just move to the normal range of motion. Don't, uh, don't force anything. The, the motion is meant to be a nice, easy exercise. Uh, the exercise is called Yes, No, Maybe. And it's the, the motions that the neck is, are designed to do with the way the bones are shaped. The neck is designed to move back and fro forward, left and right, and side to side. Those are the, those are the three motions the neck is, is built for. And so what we want to do, we want to reinforce those motions so that they happen easier. As the joints move easier, it blink, brings fluid and nutrition into the joints, helping it to be healthy. Movement causes that to happen. Here's the yes, and we just want to do it 10 to 15 times. Nothing really complex about this motion. Here's the no. Right and left, 15 times. As you do it, you'll notice that your neck gets looser. If you can only go to here before it starts to hurt, only go to there. That may be, that may be your motion. That's okay. And the maybe, side to side, 15 times. As you work these, work them one to two times a day, or if your neck feels uncomfortable, it'll help you feel a lot better. Uh, a couple of things that I want to caution you to avoid doing, and that is the rolling of the neck. That is uh, commonly taught in martial arts classes and things like this. Very bad for the neck, especially in this back quadrant here where you're going back. Don't be doing that. It compresses the bones and the nerves, and uh, it, it'll actually cause things to get worse. The second thing I want to caution you against when you go to side, 
don't arch away. The tendency is to try and get that, you want to try and get the elbow to the shoulder. Well, that's not the goal. The goal is not to get the elbow to the shoulder. It's just to maximize your motion. So keep the head nice and straight. Do that 15 times each direction. The yes, the no, the maybe, and you'll have a healthier neck for life. I'm Dr. Owen. It does the same thing. It gets the bones in the right position. Also, gets the bones more flexible, but does it with a lighter force. So with Chris, I'm just going to go over the main areas that are having the problem. And it just has a very light tapping, which helps the, the bones move right into place and become healthier every time we do it. Good, I can feel that as I push, the spine's becoming more flexible. That's the goal. Okay. So we monitor it before, before it feels very stiff. After we apply the artho stim, the area becomes more flexible. That's the goal. That's how we know we've achieved what we wanted to do. Now, just a touch here. That gets the neck in a better position, also helps it to function better. And lastly, we go over the spine with a little vibration therapy called the Master Massager. This is the patient's favorite part, I think. <laughs> but it really wakes up the nerves, helps the circulation in the spine. The better the circulation and the better the nerves are working, the faster you're going to heal as a patient. Excellent. All right, Chris, you are all tuned up, my friend, and that's a successful adjustment here at Chiropractic. Hey guys, Dr. Owens here. A lot of you have brought up concerns about getting your back cracked or a higher force adjustment. And I know a lot of you have fears and concerns about getting cracked. And I just wanted to inform you that, that doesn't, we, we can work on the spine without this. I want to show you how it's done in this video. The spine, what can occur in the spine and when the spine gets injured is in a lot of times the spine will get twisted out of place or jammed in such a way that it, it loses its normal free movement and it pinches nerves and you get nerve injuries. And it's so tender that a lot of people are really afraid to have the area worked on. Well, we need a low force, very gentle way of adjusting that area and get it, getting it moving or it's gonna develop arthritis. That's why I use the Arthrostem adjusting instrument, which is a very low force adjusting instrument. Now, how we use it, and I'll show you on the spine here, and in a, in a moment we're going to, I'll show you a live demonstration, but this does a, it does a tapping move. It does, pushes, it pushes on, on the surface. 16 times a second, feels very light, or if it's a, if it's someone that has a little more muscle, you can push in a little deeper and actually get in there a little deeper. So it's variable, but very light force. Uh, I actually even use this on my own kids, and uh, who are now are seven and eight, and they really, uh, really like it. So uh, when we come in there, we what we will do is contact the area with this two-pronged little little adjusting head, and we will just start to tap, and as the taps go in there, we start to work the spine, and we work the spine back into its proper position in whatever areas are involved. And that's the basics of how it works. Now, as we move it and get this function in back into the spine, the pressure comes off the nerve, the pain goes away, the patient can heal. So, I'm gonna bring, we're gonna bring Morgan over. Morgan, come on over and lay on your stomach. And, We'll just go through 
a little example of what it would be like. So when we're doing an, a, a spinal adjustment, we feel where the, where the spine is locked. And when we check Morgan, one of her main sp spots where she's locked is right here in the dead center. So we would come in, we would find the spot that's locked, and contact that spine, and just do a tapping motion. And just work it there a little bit. And when we recheck, it moves better. When we come out, we can also check the rib cage on both sides because the ribs go out around on both sides. It can be damaged and have problems as well. But we can just do some gentle tapping in there because a lot of people will suffer from side pain or flank pain, and it's coming from the rib cage. This handles it very nicely. So. We'll just work those rib cases, uh, the, the ribs that are attached to that uh, T, about a T10 vertebra, T10 and T9 we were just working on. Now when we work down into the lower back here, Morgan actually has a slight subluxation or bone out of place, irritating a nerve in her sacrum. And so we can just do a tapping, a tapping motion there to free up that to free up that joint, and as we work, we're just working that joint very lightly, and we're able to get in there and work those injuries without causing any kinds of uh, extra pain. So that's how we work on someone with a low force or a no force uh, technique, and we do a, an awful lot of that. It is a technique I specialize in, and so. If you've had fears of chiropractic or coming and getting adjusted because you're afraid of getting cracked, give us a call, let us know, and we'll put you we'll set you up for one of our no force or low force adjustment techniques. All right, I'm Dr. Good Owens. Good. I'm Dr. Owens, Chiropractic of Bellevue. Today I wanted to show you an instrument that I use in my practice every day. And it's a super little adjusting instrument called the Arthro Stem. And it's an electronic uh, version, uh, some of you may have heard it, uh, heard of like the activator, it's a handheld clicking instrument that puts a force into the bones. This is an electric one and it does a tapping motion into the bones and allows me to adjust uh, safely uh, at a lower force. Uh, I can adjust people that are, that are very old or very young with a, lot of, with a high degree of safety with this instrument. Uh, instead of using a manual thrust. So I'm going to bring Les in and uh, we're going to demonstrate this uh, this technique and I'm just going to show it to you on a neck uh, which is one of the ways that we can use this is we'll feel a, par a portion of the spine that's not working correctly and is out of the out of its correct position and here I'm using the, the double the double tip and we'll position it right where we know that bones out of place so we can begin tapping, which begins to build motion into that joint, helping it to move better, be pain-free, and be healthy. And what's unique about this instrument is we apply the force. We can take the patient literally through a range of motion, adjusting this patient where the restrictions are. Now, Les has a restriction going backwards. So we can apply an adjusting force while he extends through the spine, helping him have a greater range of motion and greater health in those joints of his neck. So we can also go forward and also work the side-to-side -side motion. This is really beneficial in cases that have arthritis in their neck, uh, that can't tolerate manual adjustment. So we would do this for three to four minutes as we worked the ranges of motion that we needed to work on a patient. Again, this is the Arthro Stem. I'm Dr. Owens, and this is just one of the ways in which we help patients. Uh, Dr. Owens, I was wondering, uh, do you recommend any kind of pillow for people with neck pain or sleeping problems? Uh, pillows are very individualistic. However, I'm doing some testing right now with some different pillows. There's some new ones on the market that I really like. Uh, one of them is this a lot of people have trouble uh, with their heads getting really hot, myself included. Uh, the ventilated pillow, this is all a nice uh, memory foam, but it's got air holes so that it keeps it cool. Uh, the other one is a compartmented pillow, and 
that will hold up to a, a lot of different types of bodies.